Welcome everybody to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Today we are going to start Pelham's Tale. Now, before I actually begin this, I want to make a little comment here. Um, I know throughout the course of the main game, I was not shy about my dislike of Pelham, so I can understand if some of you think I'm not looking forward to this tale. Actually, I am. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, I would like to see if he's actually changed his little snotty asshole ways. And even if he has not, which would suck because that means he hasn't grown as a character at all in the past 17 years, um, at least even if he's the same obnoxious self, it's at least going to be more tolerable because now he's not five years old anymore. Now he's an adult. So, you know, the perspective is a little different there. Uh, number two. I am itching for another encounter with Mary Sue because we haven't seen her for a while and I think him encountering her would just be awesome because watching them nuke the crap out of each other would just be hilarious. Uh, number three, um, black mages are awesome, okay? Let me get that out of the way. And in Vridia's Tale, they crippled her. They took away her summoning powers, yes, but her black magic due to the nature of the tale and everything, she was absolutely crippled and that sucked. So I would very much like to see me be able to use a black mage efficiently. And uh, I had a fourth thing too. You know, I just forgot what the hell the fourth thing was. I can't even remember. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. Because he is such a jerk ass, um, I would assume that means he actually has a brain. It is not going to be stupid. Because, honestly, Radius Tail, she was kind of dumb. And I'm hoping that will change, because I could use a character who actually uses his brain for something, even if he is a jackass about it. So for that reason, yes, I am actually looking forward to this. And I know that some people are probably going to be like, well, she hasn't posted anything in a week about this. It's called I've been busy with work. I'm sailing. No, I'm not going to sing. Well, that was short and sweet. I don't see no fishing poles. <laughs> I am amused already. What is with the dorky hair pieces in this game? Seriously. I don't get it. So? It doesn't necessarily mean anything. Same jackass self, I see. Well, if I'm Lord Palum, doesn't that mean I outrank you? So, why are you yelling at me about this? <laughs> I mean, even though Palum him said, just mentioned, he doesn't want to be called that. Probably because it makes him feel too old. But still, a title like that has nothing to do with your actual age. Uh, no, they just said they're not biting. Let me guess, he's gonna show off with this black magic and crap and there's gonna be like a whole ton of fish, like, j j just like that scene from Forrest Gump when they like lower it, load in that huge thing of shrimp. And that was a really bad reference. <laughs> Maybe Leviathan ate them all. Just to piss you off. What, you don't, like, have any, like, storage and you're relying on fish or something, or...? I have no idea. What job would that be? What are we doing on this boat? Where are we going? Like, what's going on? I suppose we're gonna find out soon. Hey, what up, Fred? How's it going? You're going bald, you know that? Like, everyone just calls him Elder. And she's like, I have no idea. <laughs> but she's like, do I ever know what Ellie is? Getting into trouble as usual. He's like, yeah, what do you want? If it's a certain foreign nation, why can't you just say the name? I mean, after I, th I would, I would think after the old, old war, you know, we're kind of mostly all friends and stuff. <coughs> Sorry, that was coming, and I had to let it out. 
What decision? How about what? Yeah, why the hell not? Yeah, still not ready. Dude. This isn't gonna be another coming of age kind of thing, is it? Admittedly, while well, that's kinda cool, at the same time, it's getting old game. You did it with Theodore, you did it with Ursula. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Elaborate on this request, you know. If you're gonna tell me about it, you might as well just cut the crap and get right into it. Gee, I wonder what nation this is going to be. <laughs> well, I kind of guessed that, considering, you know, this is obviously a flashback. Wait, wait, so, so, so when is it Missidia's job to train the Pop-Tarts? Like, what? A am I missing something here? I mean, this this kind of seems like a gaping plot hole to me. Um, they're on the other side of the world. Like, why? I mean, they have eight of them, for crying out loud. Are they really that ineffective that they need to send over freaking mages from Missidia to train them? Like, what? Well, at least he's admitting it. Okay. So I take it this is sort of going to be some an enlightening test to see if he's worthy of becoming a sage. Probably. I don't know. I'm just going with this right now. Oh really? I couldn't tell by the black blackness of the screen. And let me guess. The other one is just going to show up right in front of his eyes and this is how he's going to find out about it. And my cat is, like, staring at me with, like, what the hell are you doing, face? How many times are you going to show this shot? Or at least it's interesting to see this shot shown at night, but how many times are we going to see it? I mean, I know every character is, is experiencing it in a different place. I couldn't really say a different time, but... So, you know, it's relevant to them specifically, but to the player, it's getting old. Yeah, she's jealous, man. Character development. That's why. Fred, you're not having a heart attack on me, are you? Well, he probably already did, because we've already seen him in bed. Palom wasn't in Mysidia when we stopped there with Cedar and totally not Kane. Can I get control of the game, please? <laughs> Oh, pal, you haven't changed a bit, have you? Gee, if we don't have a dock here, I guess we're not here yet. Why? Because, well, there's nothing really else I can do. Does it ever snow there, by the way? That would be kind of awesome. Alright, Obi-Wan. Um, I would assume they're talking about Baron, but I have no idea. Oh, great fan voice. Well, if this trip is taken, like, like, that that makes me wonder because, well, I've wondered this before, but like, how long did, was the timeline of the original game? Like, how long was it been? Because I don't think the world is that terribly small that you know everyone, everyone's getting there within an hour or anything like that. I mean, if it's taken them a week to get to Troy here. Then, obviously, the world is a lot bigger than we last depicted. So, like, how long did the last war take? Because, I mean, we were traveling freaking everywhere. I mean, it's possible airships are faster than boats are, but but even so. Have you not... What? Oh, my God, you people are dipshits. Why would it be... A month? Are you serious? Are they really... Okay, compass is broken. Okay, that's a problem. But you can't navigate through other directions, you know, the position of the sun, the position of the stars, like, you know, like the way people used to navigate in the old days or anything like that. Why couldn't you take the Devil's Road to Baron and get there from there? It'll probably be much quicker. Jesus Christ.
Okay. I do not blame Palin for being a jackass in this moment, because like I just said, this is retarded. How can they not get there? Seriously, exactly, exactly. I'm totally agreeing with you on this, pal. I'm totally agreeing with you. And I hear no mentions of, like, Leviathan getting in their way or anything like that, so we can't blame it on that. Can't blame it on that. Don't you have, like, a telescope or whatever? What the hell is this place? That wasn't there before. No, you're not. Yeah, they just want to get rid of me. Not that I can entirely blame them, because a month on a ship with a bunch of people will probably piss anybody off. Then give me something. He's like, yeah, get the hell away from me. <laughs> They're like all so happy to see him off. But like I said, I kind of can't blame anybody for being sick of each other. I mean, my best friend and I occasionally go on... Can I go back on the ship and talk to people? Go on trips together. And after about four or five days together, we start to get antsy. And we start to get mad at each other. And we start fighting over stupid things. And then once we get home, we won't talk to each other for a week. And then we'll make up like nothing ever happened. That's what we do all the time. Because... Best friends or not, after a few days of nothing but each other, we'll get sick of each other. Yeah, um, don't get lost on the way back there, please. Oh, look, fighting! Wow, I'm only like 10 minutes in the video. Oh my god, I'm so slow. I'm gonna set things on fire just for that. No, this is either gonna, like, instantly kill everything, or... Gonna be completely ineffectual. Okay. So let's set them on fire again because I want to save MP and because I'm a cheap ass. I should probably check his equipment and stuff and see what he comes with and things like that. Oh look, I got a potion. All right, what do you got there? Oh, no, I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. First, I'm going to rearrange my spells because that is what I do. I'm gonna keep the crappy spells for now, just so I can kill, like, easy stuff. Alright, what have you got for equipment, good sir? Still left-handed, I see. Okay. Yeah, interesting thing about, um, the DS version. Well, not the after years, but the original game. Um, everybody is right-handed, including Kane and Palum. Oh, look, more stuff. I'm gonna set you guys on fire, too. Doesn't he ever trip on his hair? Same thing with Kane, too. Like, seriously. Oh, now I'm just gonna freeze everything. Yeah, I'll use that. Um. Because obviously Kane has long hair, too. And believe me, like, I've had long hair before. Like, if you've seen, like, some of, like, the Pax Beast videos and stuff like that, my hair is down to my ass. And once it gets down to that point, I'm just exploring for now because it's fun. Um, it starts to get really annoying because it gets caught on your pants. It gets caught on, like, it gets starts to get caught on absolutely everything. And, like, not to be disgusted or anything like that, but, I mean, when you're sitting on the can, yeah, you're gonna move your hair out of the way when it's that long, because it will get in the way. Trust me. Let's try thunder. Why the hell not? So, yeah, long, lo well, I like having long hair, and I've always had long hair, um, for a long, long time. Like, I've always kept it long, ever since I was little. And, of course, I had to keep it, like, shoulder length until I was about, like, ten or so. Because my mom didn't want to get too long, but... Oh, Larva! Why am I getting so many preemptive strikes? I mean, this is kind of awesome, but... Snowflakes! And the monsters are now way too easy. I have no idea where the hell I'm going. It's obviously so they changed this map. I mean, obviously it's a lot bigger now and everything like that. Yeah, this is like where it just was, wasn't it? This is the way to that weird tower thingy, I think, right? Yeah, let's see what's over here. It's probably something Thou Must Can't Go There Yet, and now this is gonna be like the final dungeon or something. Tower of Trials? What the hell? Oh, look! The door is shut! Go figure. No guards or anything. I could just nuke the door sh open, but nope, the game don't let me. That's the one thing I find weird about games. 
Um, okay, apparently this is a joke of a forest. Is you have people who are more than capable of busting down a door. But the door is, oh no, shut tightly or locked or whatever. You can't break in, but it's perfectly okay to break into somebody's house and steal their goods. That's perfectly... Give me my MP back. Perfectly okay to do that. But, you know, like I said, not okay to break down a door. I'm sorry, riding around on the chocobo is just fun. I can avoid random encounters this way. Yeah, th this forest is much bigger. Which I guess is kind of cool, because... Oh, I'm to explore and stuff like this. How do they, like, grow any crops around here, though? Can I go get a black chocobo? You know, I'm gonna find that out. I'm gonna take a black chocobo. If they haven't... Do they not have a black chocobo? Black chocobo, where are you? Okay, isn't there, like, a secret passage in here? I thought there was. Unless I'm thinking of, like, another Chocobo Forest or something like that. Alright, I'll take a regular Chocobo back to town. Apparently, either I don't need Black Chocobos in this game, or I need to actually wait until a certain plot point before they suddenly just randomly show up. Yay! Bye, chicken! Alright, let's go talk to people in town. I'm probably more needed at the castle, but exploring is fun. Hi. Well, you have shitty equipment. Can't get magic chest there? Okay. Being a cheese game again, are you? Okay. Hi. Alright, so I have an ice rod, but... Arrows? Why the hell would I need arrows? Well, given that, you know, the nature of this game, I'm probably gonna get more party members later on. Hi, talk to me! Okay, so it was Baron that was attack my monsters, okay. Man, news travels fast. You know, the people in, in, in the town of Baron, like, don't know what the hell is going on, but, like, everyone else knows. Well, I guess people in town knew that they were attacked too, and they just assumed Cecil, who was apparently not himself, took care of it all by himself. What dark times? We haven't been given any, any indication at this point in th the plot line, like I'm talking like chronological plot line, that anything is really wrong yet. I mean, Baron was ta talk to me. And they're not gonna claim we're like a pervert or anything for like coming in the water when we're a dude. No. Yeah, I should probably start checking everything to make sure there's no, like, hidden, like, mysterious items or anything like that. Alright, item shop, what do you got for me? Probably nothing of interest, but let's go explore it anyway. Hi. Well, I'm not gonna need Phoenix Towns <laughs> if I have no one else in my party. I will buy a couple tents, though. For emergency purposes. Okay, I already talked to that girl. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, look, it's the... It's the hooker place. Well, unless, like, all those, like, trees are, like, like, apple and, like, orange orchards or something like that. It's, like, regular, like, how would you grow regular, like, if, the, if you have so many trees, they're gonna block out the sun. I'm, 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 I'm guessing they're probably just all the same sprite for something, and they're not actually all trees. But, still. Apparently that's like the magic chair or something like that, because didn't someone else who sat there 17 years ago say, Hey, I finally got a good spot at the bar or something like that? Um, no. Why, thank you, madam. Oh, I can't talk to the barkeep. From there to move! I want to talk to the barkeep. Or well, at least he's not yelling at me saying we don't get anything for you. Um, yeah, I only have about 400 gil. I'm not exactly rich. Can I put my hand in the fire? No, I can't put my hand in the fire anymore. No! Gold digger. 
You know, I, I, I find it so insulting that a nation full of women is all about getting guys to come and spend money on you. I mean, to me, that's that's insulting to women. It really is. Hey, there's, at least there's no person on that stool up there that I can't talk to anymore. Didn't he tell the same story? Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, then stop talking to him. Get a new job. But it's like, it's like the game is like, yay, it's like a country full of all women. Women are awesome. And then they degrade them to this. I find that kind of insulting. I mean, I don't, I don't think they're meant to represent women as a whole, because obviously some women are like that in real life. Which kind of sucks, but hey, you know. Okay, so apparently I'm going to be coming back here later. Okay. I mean, even so. Sorry. Yawning. Yeah, apparently, yeah, made the black chunk both extinct. Hello. Be kind to the chocobos. Well, feed them the greens. Um, only wild black chocobos can fly, and I didn't see any wild black chocobos. Can I not open the door? I we have the secret passage, but there's no door. What the hell? Is it different? No! Can I not get in there? Am I just doing it wrong or something? Like, there's no door there anymore. I wanted to go visit the Jogobos! Although, I do find it kind of dumb that they mentioned before that in the first game that only the wild black Jogobos can fly and and the ones they breed cannot. So what's the point of breeding specifically black chocobos if the, the fact that they can fly is, you know, part of their appeal? Like, what makes them different from in captivity? What the hell makes them different from regular chocobos? Nothing. So what is the point now? Is it because they just look prettier or something? Maybe they would learn that apparently they can't fly in captivity. Maybe because you're not getting enough rum in the damn pen or something, or... I don't know. So let's save our game, I suppose, here, and end the episode. Yeah, I might actually go record the next one, because we haven't really done anything substantial or anything like that. So, I'm interested to see where the hell this is going. Don't really know much yet. Nice to see he's saying the same thing jackasses before. Which I said, is kind of cool, because I'm kind of looking forward to what that might bring, but at the same time, it means he hasn't undergone any growth as a person in the past 17 years, which is kind of disappointing. So I kind of have mixed feeling about that, but I'm still happy enough to see where this is going. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later!